Hi all, hope you're having a blessed day today. Tonight we're continuing our countdown the top 100 Christian films of all time. And tonight we look at number 82, Fireproof. Starring Kirk Cameron, who you might remember from Growing Pains in the 80s. Uh, Ken Bevel, who we just talked about at number 86. He was in the movie Courageous. Funny, he played a deputy and a police officer in Courageous. And now he's playing a firefighter in Fireproof. Uh, Erin Bethina who um, made her film debut in a film called Facing the Giants. And this is her second film. She is a Christian actress. And Alex Kendrick, who you remember from Courageous and Overcomer. He plays Pastor Strauss in this film. This movie was released in 2008. And um, it had a uh, really good story where uh, decorated firefighter Caleb Holt... Um, you know, for all his talk about not leaving your partner behind in, in fires and things of that nature, uh, tends to leave his partner at home, Catherine, his wife, behind. Uh, it turns out that he has a strange addiction to pornography and is saving all this money for a boat instead of helping her mother with her medical equipment that she needs. And, you know, Catherine was hoping that as the son-in-law that he would... Um, use some of that money towards getting m her much needed medical equipment. But no, he's selfish and he's addicted to porn. Um, in a heated argument, Catherine asks for a divorce and Caleb is all too happy to grant it to her. Now, Michael, pictured here, is his best friend at the job. And Michael and Caleb's father, John, um, tell him that, hey, this is not the way to go. You need to try to love there. It's a 40-day um, commitment to restoring your marriage. And so Caleb at first begins doing it as a checklist, not really giving it his all until he until he's badly burned in a fire, winds up at the hospital that she works at and realizes that, hey, I need to give this my all. And, well, he does. Fireproof. In my opinion, um, it's a good movie. Uh, Kirk Cameron, um, I do like him, just not in this movie. I, I feel like he um, didn't play to his potential. I felt like a lot of his lines were uh, being delivered half-heartedly. Um, you know, Erin, maybe because it's only her second movie, I really wasn't buying her pain <laughs> in, in the movie as well. Um, uh, plus, there was a contrived subplot, which I didn't really care for too much, where um, there, there was a hint out of a possible affair with one of the doctors that she worked with at the hospital, and, and Kirk was accusing her of, or believing that she was possibly having an affair and well I mean to the casual viewer you could tell that that wasn't the case and um <clears throat> it would have been better if they would have if they would have kept the viewer in the dark and made us believe that there might be an affair going on and then reveal the truth but when you know something that the cat that the other characters don't um you know it kind of takes away the whole jolt of it i don't think i'm explaining that right but anyway fireproof is a, is like i said it's it's an okay movie um it, it's definitely not the worst film on this list thank you omega code uh, <laughs> but it's not that bad either i'll leave you to judge it for yourself but for my money fireproof could have been a lot better um it's 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 okay it's 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 all right but anyway that's number 82 fireproof um, tomorrow we'll do number 81 and thank you for spending this time with me. Thank you for watching my videos and supporting my channel and God bless you all.